What's going on everyone? It's Token and we are back with a brand new VGC showdown video as today we are going to be using a brand new team that we will after today bring on to the VGC battle spot ladder and use in our VGC common ladder series. So if you guys are excited for today's showdown live, definitely maybe leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more VGC content as there's a plethora of that on this channel. Today though we're going to be using an archetype that I'm extremely excited to use and uh, finally get up on the channel and that is going to be the Drift Blim Lele archetype that has risen in popularity overwhelmingly over the last little bit few months um, in the VGC circuit or the last like month in the VGC circuit um, it's some absurd percentage in the usage that uh, Drift Blim has risen honestly so uh, or Ryzen so uh, really really cool to see a Pokemon like Drift Blim that's always been an afterthought in VGC in singles in almost any format VGC, uh, Drift Blim has always been an afterthought so it's cool to finally see it getting a little bit of shine and someone uh, figuring out how to use this Pokemon um, there was even an article written on exactly how Drift has risen, uh, has gone to the point where it's uh, so prevalent in the VGC circuit. circuit. Um, and it's really cool that someone was able to figure out how to use this Pokemon. The first person I saw use it, uh, the the way that it's being used now, it was James Beck. I'm not sure if that's correct. Uh, the article I read didn't didn't say he was the first to use it. Um, they tried to say that Shoma was first, but I definitely saw uh, James Beck use it before Shoma. So I'm thinking Dr James Beck was the creator of this uh, really cool Drift Blim that has uh, that's just it's here to stay now. Um, some people are trying to say it's a little overrated, but um, Drifloom is just meant to support, and I do not think in the slightest that it's overrated at being a support Pokemon, so that's my opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Anyways, let's just hop right into the team. So the team exactly is going to be uh, Drifloom, and the way that it becomes viable is due to this new item that was introduced in Gen 7 in Psychic Seeds. And what exactly Psychic Seed does is, let's, let's go to that description. If the terrain is Psychic Terrain, raises Holder Special Defense by one stage, single use, and you would think, oh, that sounds pretty bad. Um, it only has one single use and it only works in psychic terrain and it just raises the special defense but it's actually really good thanks to this ability that drift blim gets in unburdened and speed is doubled on held item loss boosts his loss of switches gets new blah blah, blah new ab item slash ability it works really good with unburdened a burden allows drift blim a drift blim to be the fastest pokemon in the meta after psychic terrain goes up and it doesn't even matter if like tapu finney's in and it's misty terrain ends up being the dominant terrain for that for the beginning of the match um as long as psychic terrain went up at some point during the turn that drift blim went out into the uh battle um its psychic seed will have to activate which then will activate its unburden which then will mean its speed is doubled and uh as you can see we have a 121 speed Sorry about that. We have a 121 speed uh, Drift Blim right in front of you. So that's going to, if its speed is double, it's going to be 242. And that's faster than anything in the meta, even that ridiculous Feromosa. Uh, so uh, it's pretty much unstoppable. It's uh, Tailwind's pretty much unstoppable. If you want the Tailwind, you're going to get it with Drift, Drift Blim. So a lot of people like to use uh, Trick Room against this. So you, it kind of forces your opponent to bring a certain lead. So then you can play around that exact certain lead. So um, I really like Drift Blim. Um, as a support Pokemon. So we're going to be rocking out with a Drift Blim that has a lot of defense investment, 252 in defense to bulk out some of those hits, such as like wild charges and stuff. And uh, 164 in special defense, uh, Drift Blim, uh, um, it's just, it has a lot of HP and that's what allows it to take out hits. But uh, 164 in special defense to um, take some of those hits a little bit better. And then 76 in speed with that Jolly Nature allows it to pretty much outspeed the entire meta once that Unburden is activated. And then we have Shadow Ball, Willow Wisp, Tailwind, and Disable. Um, there's a few options you can run here instead of Disable you can run uh you can run destiny bond you can run acrobatics you can run uh there's there's another option i was thinking of why can i not think of it um let's just scroll down i know you can run haze as well and then um what is the last one that i'm thinking of um i guess knockoffs the option i wouldn't suggest that though uh i cannot think of the last option i was thinking of you do still have uh toxic and thunder wave um, as options, which is nice as always, uh, um, as always, and, um, oh, Swagger, Swagger, there we go, Swagger as well, if you are also running Finny on your team with this Pokemon, or if you're just using Finny instead of the Lele, uh, and using the, the seed that works with Finny, then you can, um, you can go for Swaggers and try to Swagger up your team, a lot of people like to use that strategy, but considering that Swagger, Swagger misses a lot now, so I wouldn't advise that either, uh, that's Drift Blim though, uh, moving on, we do get to Tapu Lele, and Tapu Lele is going to be Life Orbed on my team specifically, you can run like Specs or something to try to really nuke Pokemon that are next to, uh, um, uh, Pokemon that are trying to threat 
threat in uh, Drift Blim or just uh, any Pokemon coming out, especially so you could two-hit KO like Porygon 2. But um, I personally don't prefer to do that because I really like being able to protect Lele because a lot of people lead Nihiligo on this team. And Drift Blim will definitely level a hit from Nihiligo. You set up Tailwind and then now Lele can... Uh, you protect that first time you set up Tailwind and then Lele can now threaten the Nihiligo out and just threaten the Oko. So, uh, yeah, I really... Um, I really like Life Orb, so you can protect but still hit extremely hard. And just Psychic, Moonblast, and Dazzling Gleam if you need a chip to Pokemon. Obviously, you need Lele to set up that Psychic Terrain, so Psychic Surge is the ability. And, um, yeah, just uh, we're going with a pretty bulky Lele with 148 in uh, special attack with a Modest Nature. Then 188 in HP and 164 in speed. Uh, just to still be pretty fast, but mainly just be really bulky, but still really offensive. So, uh, really nice there. Then we bring out the heavy hitters on this team so that we can really use a pretty unstoppable Tailwind to its full force. And that's exactly what um, Garchomp brings to the table. And the fact that this is Ground DMZ Garchomp, so that's just it's just so good. As long as you can do your predicting right with making sure you don't Ground DMZ into a flying type. Um, Ground DMZ is extremely strong, and then this Garchomp is going to be rocking Swords Dance, so we can Swords Dance up on some threats and uh, just completely obliterate them um, out of existence um, as after we get a Swords Dance up, and then just EQ and Rock Slide pretty much is going to hit everything you really need to hit, especially after a Swords Dance, it's going to hit all those pretty much anything really hard, uh, nothing really res uh, resists that dual combination. And then just a pretty bulky Garchomp so we can maybe tank out a hit while we go for a Swords Dance and then uh, still really threaten our opponent's team. So um, I like the Garchomp. Then we get into Snorlax. And uh, you know how you guys know how much I love Snorlax. Uh, just a really good staple for teams that uh, struggle with Trick Room. And we definitely are extremely fast. So we need something to stop Trick Room. And that's what uh, Snorlax brings to the table with its Figgy Bear and uh, Return, High Horsepower, Recycle, and Curse. Just really, really nice. And uh, Brave Nature to be as slow as possible. And uh, yeah, just a standard song, so I don't need to go into too much detail. Then we got Choice Band Metagross, and I really like this on this team because it works. It doesn't work too bad, um, even outside, even in Trick Room. Uh, obviously, it doesn't want to take on like an Araquanid, but it can take on like a Cell Still, not too poorly. It can take on pretty much anything other than, uh, other than things like uh, Mudsdale uh, and like. I guess Gigalith with a with EQ uh, not too well, but it doesn't like it doesn't really mind uh, Porygon 2 and stuff like that, um, even in Trick Room. And then um, uh, it hits a lot of things extremely hard with that Zen Head, but Choice Bandit Zen Head, but in Psychic Terrain is gonna rip through things. Uh, Choice Bandit our Hammer Arm really does help us against normal types, so we don't have uh, any other way to hit those extremely extremely hard other than our Z move, and then uh, or our boosting up our Snorlax. And then Meteor Mash hits things really hard. And then Explosion, because we do have a Ghost type, so we can't explode next to Drift Loom, And then we can just protect things and explode and kind of catch our opponent really off guard. So that's always nice. And then last but not least, we have Celestella because it's just so good at helping with Trick Room. And uh, Heavy Slam, Flamethrower, Leech Seed, just staple and just a lot of special defense investments. So if we knock out a Pokemon, we do get that special defense boost. And we can now live a Thunderbolt from Tapu Koko. So no need to go too much into detail other than uh, exactly that. Uh, the teams Drift Blim, Tapu Lele, Garchomp, Snorlax, Metagross, and Celestella. I, I like the team, so let's just hop onto the ladder and try to test it out a little bit and see exactly what we can do. Alright, so we do get an opponent, and they are... I actually think I played this person just like a little bit ago, to be completely honest. But, um... They are going to be Suntoria. They're going to be rocking out a team of Alolan Persian. Um, got a little bit popular thanks to uh, Marcus Shradner. Uh, Tapu Fini. Uh, Kartana, Arcanine, Snorlax, and Coco. So Persian's really annoying. Like Persian's really annoying for this team. It has foul play for both of our for our Ghost and Psycho type, Psychic type, and then it's really good for ev for literally everything else because we like to boost up our attacks on everything else. And uh, Persian will be faster, and we'll be able to get a foul a pretty strong foul play off on all those Pokemon. So we'll have to watch out for that. Um. And its foul play will do a lot to Metagross, so it'll do a lot, a lot of damage to Metagross, so we'll definitely have to watch out for uh, Persian. Um, everything else I think we're pretty solid against, so let's just go, let's go with the staple lead. Let's bring Garchomp, and then let's bring Snorlax. Let's do the Snorlax. Nor do we go Metagross. We'll have to dodge some Pokemon if we bring Metagross. Yeah, let's do it. We can go. We can go Metagross. All right. So my opponent does lead that Persian, which is fine. That is perfectly fine. Uh, what we can do here, so we will get that special defense raise, but it will be Misty Terrain and not our Terrain, which is unfortunate, but fine. Um, we can go for Tailwind. Uh, we definitely can go for a Tailwind. Uh, is that what we want to do, though? 
Kind of just want to get a little bit of chip on Persian, but no. We'll go for the Tailwind, and we'll go for a Moonbless. Uh, my opponent can't fake out, but they can go for a... Actually, 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 let's Tailwind, and let's Protect. Um, it's unfortunate. We'll end up letting uh, Finny get a... A... Um, a Calm Mind up. Yeah, definitely went for Calm Mind. Only makes sense. Uh, we will have to disable that now, and we will go for the Moonblast on Persian now. But yeah, I almost completely forgot that the, the Misty Terrain was up and not our terrain. Oh, and that actually takes out Persian. Um, I'm not used to that fully taking it out, but that will take it out, which is extremely nice. Uh, Coco comes in, which is fine. Uh, we do have the Tailwind up, and, but we're not in Psychic Terrain, so I'm not sure we Oko the um, Coco. So do I want to double up on it? Mm, kind of don't. Honestly, really don't. So let's... um. I really do need damage off on Finny. Really need damage off on Finny. Uh, hmm. It's an interesting scenario. Yeah, let's Shadow Ball the Finny though, and let's just Psychic the Coco. Oh, we just slightly missed out on the Oko on Coco. That is, that's a little demoralizing. Uh, that's going to Oko our Drifloom in every single way, and uh, that Moonblast is going to do hefty damage to us. Uh, what we can do now though, we go into um, Metagross, and we have another turn of Tailwind left, so we can just go for a, do we want to go for Zen Headbutt or the Meteor Mash? Uh, we want to go for the Meteor Mash, and we want to go for a, uh, Coco can just protect, that's an issue. He can just protect out this turn, which it likely will do, so I'm going to double up, yeah, we're doubling up on Finny. Oh, Finny protects too, oh god. Alright, so my opponent made the correct play. They double protected. That roll is just so unfortunate that we just so ever we just so slightly missed out on the Oko on this uh on this Coco. Uh we will go for the Meteor Mash on the uh Coco to get rid of it now though. As Finny protected again and the Thunderbolt onto our Tapu Lele. So that is a beautiful protection for us. We'll get rid of Coco. We unfortunately don't get the uh we don't get the raise, unfortunately, uh, for the Meteor Mash. That's a little unfortunate, but uh, we, shall st we should still be able to get hefty damage off on... Mm -hmm. I feel like Finny might protect now. So let's... Yeah, so I'm going to switch out Metagross. I feel Finny... Ooh, Finny didn't protect. Ugh. Oh, God. Finny didn't protect. Oh, I was hoping Finny protected. All right, that's... That's pretty unfortunate for us. Yeah, that's gonna... Oh, that brings us down so low. And now we, like, die to a... Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna protect Garchomp and go for the Finny. As Arcanine protects. And Finny protects. Okay. Okay, well, we're locked into Zen Head, but um, I'm going to try to Tectonic Rage Finny and just try to win this game. That's my only play. So Arcanine goes for another Protect. We did not attack Arcanine, so that's beautiful. Does this... Yes, it does knock out Finny, so I think we won this game. Yeah, we definitely won this game. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yep, just going to EQ and Zen Head, but EQ will take it out unless my opponent goes for that extreme speed, as they do just forfeit, so we do get that win. Um, got a little lucky for my opponent just continuously going, trying to go for double protect. Um, just wasn't the play, honestly, he did not need to do that, but worked out for us, we take those. Um, just really unfortunate, that roll on Tapu Koko, um, that should take it out, honestly, outside of... Um, I guess he might have like maybe four in special defense, but that usually should take out Tapu Koko, so that was just a little unfortunate. Um, we do get another opponent with this Alolan Persian. I've been seeing Alolan Persians like non-stop, so that's pretty interesting. They're going to have a team of Alolan Ninetales, Snorlax, Tapu Finny, Alolan Persian, Arcanine, and uh, Porygon 2, so we'll have to watch out for Porygon 2. Let's go Drifloom Lele. Drift Blim, Drifloom. I always call it that, Drift Blim. Drift Blim, Lele. Um, I like Garchomp again. I definitely like Celestilla too. But Celestilla just, it, it becomes a little passive in my opinion. Definitely can be a little passive, but it work, it's better for a low impression than a lot of our team. It really is. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to bring Celestone. I think I'm going to bring Garchomp. Pretty set on Garchomp. Uh, uh, but there is a Ninetales on top of a top of a Finny that we can't Oko on top of a Persian. So maybe not. And a Porygon too. Yeah, let's not bring Garchomp. Let's bring Snorlax. We'll go with that. My opponent leads Snorlax Finny. Well, I can... Uh, he might be facade if he's willing to lead it like this. No, no, no. His, his terrain is going to be up first. So it makes sense, honestly. Actually makes sense. So we're just going to attack into Finny. We want Finny gone. Actually, do I just switch out so that he might not have this terrain anymore? Mm. No, I definitely don't set up Tailwind. Let's not do that. So, uh, yeah, let's Shadow Ball and let's Psychic into Finny. As my opponent brings out the Porygon too, really good play. Um, yeah, really, really good play. We do like very small amounts of damage to the Snorlax. I will disable return and I will just go into Celestilla. So no more return for you Snorlax. As it does Belly Drum. So we'll see if this is, um, uh, this will be really interesting if this is, uh, huh, I really can't do much of anything with my with my um, Drift Blim here, but I really don't want to switch it out. So we're in a tight spot, honestly. Uh, I guess just disable the Trick Room. I really don't have another play. And then just lead seed Snorlax. As Snorlax switches out, that's that's great. Oh, and this uh, Porygon 2 is running Shadow Ball, so that's pretty interesting. We'll get that Leech Seed. We did get a Special Defense Drop as well. Oh, and we will disable uh, Shadow Ball because I forgot we are the slowest Pokemon in Trick Room due to that uh, Speed Boost we did get. So That's fine. Um, I'm not going to stay in. I'm just going to switch out Celestilla into Snorlax. Um, I do not want to stay in on an Arcanine. Um, I could protect it this turn, though. Mm, I guess. It's too late. It's too late. Take a Thunderbolt. We get Paralyzed. And we get Flare Blitzed. <laughs> So we'll go into Lele. I'm just going to right away switch into Celestilla. I think that's my play. And then I'm going to Curse Up. Because my opponent has to think that I'm going to protect Lele this turn. So hopefully they Flare Blitz the Snorlax slot. As that's definitely a huge threat right now. So hopefully they do that. And then um, and then I can just protect Celestilla that following turn. And uh, try to get back into a pretty decent position here. A lot is going to be riding on Snorlax to bring this game home. Alright, so my opponent actually switches out the Arcanine, so I feel even better about that uh, Lele switch out. Because I can just go for a Leech Seed again on the Celestilla. On the Snorlax slot, I definitely can. Um, let's go for the Leech Seed on Finny, and let's, res let's curse up again with Snorlax. Alright, Snorlax is going to go for the Belly Drum again. So that's a little unfortunate. I definitely should have prioritized attacking that. Uh, we're just going to lead seed and we are going to try to return it, but uh, it's unlikely we're going to live. We're going to live any hits from this Pokemon, so we'll see what happens. Can we live that? Yes, we can. We live that great. Yeah, and it, it does not take our attack well. Um, my opponent will likely double up, though, on the Snorlax now, though. So I'm going to, do I just attempt to recycle? No, 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 here's what I do. Am I faster than the Arcanine? That's the million dollar question. I'm going to try to Heavy Slam. Going to try to Heavy Slam and, and recycle. Oh, Arcanine went for its Z move. Can we take it out? Oh, that does nothing. That does literally no damage. Okay. So I'm going to pull a double protect. My opponent's played this extremely well, but um, I don't think heavy slam. How much did heavy slam do? Hold on, let's let's cancel that. 
How much did heavy slime do? It did 8.4 to 12%. Actually, it should it should definitely take out this Arcanine. Yeah, heavy slimes. I mean, heavy slime should take out uh, Snorlax at this health though. So yeah, let's just psychic the Arcanine and let's heavy slime the Snorlax. It, it definitely should take it out with the damage it just did last time. So we're just going to go for it. As it does switch out into Finny and Arcanine protects, so that's fine. Uh, we get a little bit of damage off on Finny, but um, it looks like this is this is a losing battle. It looks like um, does my opponent preserve the Arcanine? That's the it's a million dollar question. Do I just double up on Finny? I'm only 66 speed. I'm definitely not faster. Like definitely not faster. But does if my opponent doesn't preserve Arcanine, um, I think I could maybe outstall the rest of my opponent's entire team with Cell Stella. If they don't preserve Arcanine, if they do switch out the Arcanine into into something else, and I go for the attack with Finny, I would Tapu Lele, and then I lose Finny, then I lose the game. I definitely lose the game. But if my opponent attacks Cell Stella, and I, and I lose the game. Oh, what do I do here? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Does my opponent... Oh, they have to preserve Arcanine. Do, are they smart enough to make that play? Do they preserve the Arcanine and go into something else? They have to be. Yes. Whew. Okay. So we're still sort of in business. Not really, but uh, definitely better than we would... Better than the position we would have been in. Oh, I honestly... I honestly needed to heavy slam there. I honestly think I screwed myself by not heavy slamming. Oh God! Yes, ah, uh, just screwed myself just so slightly by not heavy slamming. Yeah, because then Arcanine just comes in and wins the game for my opponent. So yeah, I needed to heavy slam there. Oh man. Why did I not heavy slam? Ugh. There's no need to lead seed. I needed to heavy slam because then I would have took out that. Opponent would have went for that. Oh, and then we could threaten out the Arcanine. Oh, we so could have won this game if I would have just heavy slam. So that's unfortunate, but that's going to wrap us up, wrap up us testing this team. Hope you guys like the team. Should be really fun to use on the battle spot ladder. I'm ready to use it. Um, I haven't been able to use the Drift Blim uh, Lele archetype much at all. So it's time to bring it on to the ladder. Hope you guys are ready. Thank you guys so much for tuning in into this VGC Showdown Live. I'll see you guys in the, in the first uh, battle spot video using this team. For now, though, peace out. Have a good one, guys.